my name is Kevin Johnson of Connecticut State Library. I uh, work as a library technical assistant at the H&G unit, History and Genealogy unit. Uh, genealogy is uh, tracing your family history, uh, looking up your lineage, uh, what I always like to call it is finding your family roots. Knowing where you come from uh, I think is vitally important, knowing the contributions uh, that your ancestors may have contributed to a war or to some part of society that made it a better world. Uh, so when we tap into that and realize who we are, uh, you kind of hold, sit up straight and hold your shoulders back, you know, and you carry a little bit more pride. Talking to my grandmother, uh, who lived to be 96 years old, she shared a great deal of my family history with me. And she would tell me about coming uh, through the early 1900s and talking to her grandparents about coming through slavery. Uh, so many of those stories pulled me. Uh, and intrigued me uh, into wanting to know more and then to be able to share it uh, with passion, uh, to bring it to life, to let people know uh, African Americans really wanted to be free and was willing to do all of the things that was necessary. The first step would actually uh, is talk to your family. Uh, talk to those seniors that are, are still alive and gather as much information as you can uh, about your own family history, starting with yourself and beginning to work backwards. Uh, for African American history uh, becomes a, a great stumbling block because, you know, being uh, brought as captives uh, to the nation, to America, the history isn't fully there and the documentation from the owners uh, definitely didn't leave great detailed records, but there are sometimes you can find some things, but it's just a matter of knowing where to look. Uh, being held or found into the land deeds uh, as property uh, is one of those sources to be able to just search for African American uh, history. Uh, but if you're unaware of those things, you won't know where to really begin, where to search, what documents to look for. I don't think the public is aware of all of the resources we have going from vital records, uh, land records, uh, court documents uh, from the late 1700s, early 1800s, uh, probate dockets, um, uh, published material, uh, wills. So we have a variety of resources, also some uh, guides helping people to understand how to do family genealogy. The more you know, the more our staff is able to help you. Find your niche. Uh, and then try to see if you can link it to an ancestor. These were real people who lived in a real time with real issues, uh, and some of those issues we still uh, deal with today. Many times we look at history so general, you know, as something that's just in a book, you know, that someone wrote about. Uh, but if we, until we can connect with it and make it make sense and make it real, uh, it becomes alive. 